Hi, the question says, describe an activity to show that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. So what we are doing over here is, we'll take a mirror over here and we're keeping it normal to the table. Now, we'll take another piece of paper and we'll make a small hole into it, which I've kept over here and the light will be allowed to pass through this hole. And we'll keep another white sheet of paper over here and I have drawn a normal to this plane mirror on this white sheet of paper. We'll make sure that this piece of paper in which the hole is made is kept normal to the table and this entire experiment must be conducted in a room which is quite dark so that the extra light would not affect the experiment. So now what we are going to do is we are going to throw the light through the piece of paper from which we have made the hole so the light will only pass through that hole and it will get incident on the mirror at the point of incidence. So when the light falls on the mirror through that hole at the normal of the mirror that is at the point of incidence you'll get a reflected ray which can be drawn on the white piece of paper which we have kept at the bottom. So if you look closely over here when the whole ray from the hole is incident on the mirror it gets reflected and the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection that is one of your laws of reflection. Along with that we can easily observe over here that the incident ray that comes from the small hole the reflected ray and the normal of the mirror lying at the point of incidence will all lie in the same plane that is on the same white piece of paper that we have kept normal to the mirror. So what was required from this experiment, we have already proved that the law of second law that is your angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal as well as the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal all lie on the same plane. Thank you.